What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now today's a little bit different. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm currently away and uh, at, I guess out of my where I stay at and I'm somewhere else currently but don't worry the videos for the week are still here we still have main deck Monday Road Tuesday and all that kind of good stuff but uh, during the weekend there was two regional championships and two of the big decks from this weekend are or two of the most like kind of rogue hype decks that people really care about is Vikabolt, Tapabulu and Metagross now if you didn't pay if you didn't watch this weekend you would know uh, if you didn't know if you didn't watch this weekend then you don't know but Vest Queen won and uh, Drampa Garbord, it was still it was still relevant, it was still out there, but it wasn't as bad as it was last week. People have adapted and started counting these decks. And, and on Wednesday, we're going to talk about that. We're going to show a different deck list off that, uh, that can help you beat Drampa Garbord and show how they did take down this deck and show other Drampa Garbord at decks as well. Um, Zorg did have a presence as well over in the UK. Gyarados did win in second place getting Zorg, but we know about Zorg. We know about Vespa Queen. We know about Gyarados. We know about Drampa Garbodo. There was a Volcanian deck that didn't really play any, like, Max Lux or stuff like that. Um, the, like I said, the two biggest decks from this weekend are Tapu Bulu, Vika Volt, and the um, Metagross deck. So that's what we're covered today. Now, I don't have the top eight list. Uh, those lists are actually going to be posted on Pokemon. So I'm going to show that the lists that aren't going to be public, really that public, but still need to be shown uh, because of how great they did. Uh, and that is going to be the ninth place. Uh, it's the ninth place. Oh, man, it's so unfortunate. But ninth place. Metagross deck and um, guys I apologize too I don't have I, I can't edit the video and stuff I don't know how that, that audio sounds I'm hoping it sounds great but uh, just a fair warning that I can't really see what it sounds like and I tried to record this on PTC Geo but this laptop cannot handle it and started crashing when I was recording on there so today we have to look at pictures and uh, I'm still going to explain the deck we can show up all the cards and everything that was in there the exact deck list and stuff like that but we're looking at Connor Fenton's uh, ninth place Metagross deck just barely made just barely missed cut but the good thing is um in eighth place there was a vehicle and in top eight there was a metagross deck and that metagross powered by uh, chris shemansky uh who would end up getting second place losing to vespa queen and uh <clears throat> we have the the vehicle bit unfortunately the vehicle deck didn't unfortunately lose to a <clears throat> what is it, a Zork deck in top cut uh, it's, it's they said it was a really bad matchup and vehicle just destroyed them that was um it was Charlie Lochner, or Charlie Locker, sorry, um, who did lose in top eight, but still, Metagross and Vegan Fault were still in top. We're still in top eight, but there was two of the decks as well that I want to show off. That is going to be a ninth place deck, like I said, Connor Fenton, and the nineteenth place deck, uh, John Roberts II, who was actually the 2012 national champion who played Kling Kling, if I have my year correct. Uh, so John Roberts, you know, he's he's known to play these really uh, cool rogue decks, and he does that with Vega Vault this time. So let's go over these two decks. I'll start talking. I'll start. I'll stop blabbing. Let's go on it. So this is the regional championship. Uh, like I said, the two most hyped decks from the weekend was Vega Vault and uh, Metagross. So first up, it's going to be Vega Vault. Since it did get 90th place, and here's the list that John Roberts second used. And like I said, he used Tapu Bulu with that Nature's uh, Judgment or whatever. It does 120, and you may discard all energy to it. And if you do, you do 60 more damage for 180. Now we actually showed this case, we showed this deck off on Friday. Uh, we piled it with Lorantis, but now people are applying with Vika Bolt, and this was all over the place. It wasn't just John Roberts. There was multiple people in. I think it was like the second most played deck, if I remember correctly. I could be, I could be wrong, but it was pretty high up there in uh, Madison Regionals this weekend, but you, of course, you use Vika Volt, which is, you know, this guy, I know it's kind of pixelated, but I think you can, hopefully you can see my arrow, let me see if you can see my arrow or not, uh, I can't tell, but Vika Volt, um, it has that, um, <clears throat> the strong charge, I can't remember what it's called exactly, yeah, strong charge, uh, once during the turn, before you attack, it may search deck for a grass energy card and a lightning energy card attached it to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. So this is how we're going to keep power up top of Bulu's. We can actually use this twice. So if you have two Vega Bolts, you can double strong charge, get four energies out, and be good to go. Now, <clears throat> there's Type of Koga as well. Type of Koga is a good attacker if you, uh, you know, don't waste your energies. You can still hit for weakness on, on Lightning Weak Pokemon as well. This can help you out against Mega Rayquaza. If that does show up, you can hit for weakness and knock and knock them out pretty easily. But the whole uh, the, John Roberts deck is very unique, and that's the one reason I'm gonna show it off. You're gonna notice that there's no VS Seekers in his in his list. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna be Drampagar Boater, 
by not playing in VS Seekers. And then also the good thing about Tabulu against Garboder is you do 120, which just so happens to be Garboder's HP. Um, so you can just one-shot Garboder's over and over again, just knock him out every single turn, which is great as well. But we're going to see two Heavy Ball, which can help you get the Vika Volt, Charger Bug, and yeah, Vika Volt, Charger Bug, and Tapu Bulu. They all have three retreat. So that's really good. You can use Heavy Balls to get that. Playing the one Nest Ball to get Pokemon to your bench. Uh, for Rare Candy, trying to get that turn to Vico Volt ASAP. And you're going to notice he's playing a very interesting, um, a very, very interesting uh, support account. We're going to see two Sycamore, two Lysander, one Bridget, one Fan Club. Now, the Fan Club is kind of cool, and Bridget is kind of cool. Like, you kind of decide when you want to use this. With Fan Club, you put two base Pokemon in your hand. So, if you need to hit, like, a Shaman to draw more cards, you could do that. If you need to put three on the ground, you can use Bridget that way as well, which is great. We see three Skyla uh, to help get in anything you want, which is uh, fantastic. You can make sure you hit the right cards at the right time. And you might be saying, you, you know, Squeaky, how do you hit your energy cards? Well, you're going to hit them with Strong Charge. You're never really going to have to search your deck. As long as you get Strong Charge, you're good to go. Uh, it has two Fuel Blowers to help it against Garboder if they play the Garbotoxin. We see three Choice Ban. Uh, that way you could do 200. Um... <clears throat> I'm not sure what math that hits in the top of my head. I, oh, I know what the, I know what it is. I, I just now remember why the, the choice bands are in there. Uh, if you attack with Vega Volt for the Electro Cannon, it does 150, and that could be a non EX attacker that could constantly just swing over and over again. Two knockout EX Pokemon, and that's why Choice Bands are in there. You got the two switch, because everybody does have really have a hefty retreat cost. Um, Hex Maniac, of course, shut down people. And that's going to be John Roberts' second place stack. I mean, it plays two Tapu, two Tapu uh, Lele, uh, Shaman EX. Unfortunately, he, di he did uh, barely miss cut. I remember watching one game, and he just didn't hit anything. He just had a bad hand, and just couldn't, unfortunately, get set up, which is very, uh, you know, it kind of stinks. But hey... We still, 19th place is amazing. Uh, there was over, like, I think over 400 people, if I remember correctly, maybe 500. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me. It's been a long day. Uh, but still, congrats, John Roberts, for playing this very unique Tapu Bulu uh, Vika Bowl deck. And like I said, if you want to see another Vika Bowl deck, Pokemon will eventually post the top 8 listings, showing all the decks off. And when that happens, I'll make sure I go over all the top 8 decks and go over them. Um, but in, in the other the other deck we want to talk about, it's going to be Metagross, and that is the next hyped up deck. Alright, so next up is going to be Connor Fenton's Metagross GX deck. And uh, this list, it, even though it's not the same as the second place list, it's still very, very close to his second place list. I could kind of tell you the difference. I mean, we, I watched the finals all day yesterday. I know a lot of people did as well. So they can kind of tell you, you know, this card's a little bit different. This is what Connor played, and this is what Chris played. Um... I don't have exactly Chris list. Uh, we'll probably post it on Six Prizes as well, so make sure you go check out Six Prizes. But let's go over uh, Connor's list that he used to get ninth place. So it plays at 434 Metagross line. Uh, if you don't know, Metagross GX has 250 HP and has the ability Geotech System. Once turn to turn before you attack, you may attach a Psychic or Metal Energy from your discard pile to your act Pokemon. And what we're going to use is Giga Hammer. Giga Hammer does 150, and, then if it, and this Pokemon can't use Giga Hammer during your next turn. Uh, you can bind this with Choice Band, you can do 180. Now, the cool thing with Metagross, uh, the first thing, like I said, you can't use Giga Hammer again, but with Ranger, you kind of nullify that and you can attack again. But what we're going to try to do is get multiple Metagrosses set up. Uh, Metagross has a 3 retreat cost, so, and the Giga Hammer has a 3 energy attack, so 2, two metals and a, and a colorless. So what you can do is you can Giga Hammer, you can then retreat and, and use double Geotech system to put 2 energies back on the new active Metagross, and then attach return, maybe uh, get 3 Metagrosses out, and you can triple uh, Geotech system to a new Metagross every single turn, and you can constantly do 180, 180 over and over again, which is fantastic. Now, once again, just like Connor's deck, I mean, just like John Roberts' deck, we're going to play slow. You're going to see Connor's playing three Alolan Vulpix. Alolan Vulpix, and that has the beacon to search for two Pokemon to put in your hand. It's not just two basic Pokemon. It's not just evolution. It's two Pokemon, which can help you get set up and get everything out. Two Tapu Lele, and you're going to see nine Metal Energies and one Psychic, because remember, Geotech lets you get a Psychic or Metal Energy, and that way you can use Tapu Cure if needed. Uh, Tapu Cure kills two, all damage off two of your bench Pokemon, but you also have Metagross' GX, Algorithm GX, search deck for five cards, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck afterwards. Now, 
when you outguard them, your opponent, they're going to want to end you ASAP. They're going to want to play in, try to get rid of those cards, but if they can't, uh, I can't remember who said this on stream, but if they can't, you're going to win the game. You're going to have the game. You're going to get set up, and your opponent's not going to, be able to do anything because they can't take out these 250 HP Metagross GXs. Unless they're playing Best Queen with Flareon, then they probably can. Um, but the deck's going to play for old 12, 4 VS Seeker, 3 Rare Candy. You don't really rely on Rare Candy too much. You can take your time, slowly build up Metagrosses, and that's why you can beat Garbodor because you're really not relying on, on your Rare Candies too much. And once you're set up, your 250 HP tank with 20 uh you have resistance to psychic so you hit that minus 20 three field blower once again we need to beat garbo toxins that's the big key here uh two max potions one rescue stretcher one floatstone um the floatstone still can be very useful if you if you're like hexed or something that can be very useful as well um because if you're hexed you can't like well i mean if you're hexed in any way you can't use geotech system so i guess the floatstone just helps to get out of that retreat if needed uh you could play another energy uh, but Connor said it was fine playing the Flowstone. Uh, four Sycamore, three in, two Lysander, and his support account is going to be uh, a little techy, just like John Roberts. Not as techy as John Roberts, but still a little techy. Uh, one teammates, which uh, lets you search deck for any two cards, put in your hand, which is really good because if somebody like knocks out your Vulpix, which they're going to, because uh, the whole point of the deck is you beacon turn one, it needs no energy, they knock out your Vulpix, and then you get teammates for any two cards in deck. And be good to go. Uh, one Skyla to get an item card. One Bridget to get three Pokemon on your bench. Usually it's going to be three Beldum. Maybe a Vulpix as well, which is nice. Um, the Karen. And Karen is going to help you out against Vespa Queen. If you watch the finals, Chris, it almost took down, it almost, almost took down Vespa Queen. Uh, it was a really good game. I mean, if there was a unlimited amount of time, Chris would have won that if you watched that. But unfortunately, he didn't have enough time, and then one Ranger, of course, to help negate the uh, Gear Hammer. Now, if you're looking for Chris's list, I can kind of tell you the difference between this and Connor's. I know that Chris only played one Vulpix. He didn't play three. Uh, Chris did play three Max Potions. Uh, Chris did not play teammates. Um, I watched all the games. I did not see a teammates in there. Um, and that's oh, and, and then uh, uh, Chris did play a Delmise, uh, the psychic Pokemon that make your metal Pokemon do ten more damage. And with this, you have that ability. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it locks your opponent to the active and does. It's like Anchor Shot, I think, if I remember correctly. It's a psychic in two colors, and it makes it where your opponent can't retreat, so you can sometimes get people locked up in the active. And remember, that is Chris's list, and like I said, Pokemon is going to post that in uh, maybe like a week or two, and once that happens, of course, we'll make a video showcasing all top 8 decks. Uh, Wednesday, like I said earlier, we're going to cover decks that help you counter Garbodor Drampa, but today I just really wanted to uh, show off the two decks that people are going to hype up the most, and that is going to be the Vika Bolt and the Metagross GX. I think both these decks are fantastic, and I'm loving the way this meta is right now. Every day there's a new deck coming out and saying, oh, can this be the best deck? Can this be the best deck? Uh, so make sure you look at these two lists. I think they're great. Uh, the Metagross list and the Vika Bolt Tapu Bulu deck. Which one did you like more? Um, is there another deck you want to cover that came out this weekend that you never that we really haven't seen? Like I said, there Zorak, which is another kind of like surprise deck, but we've seen that before. It's nothing new. Um, Vest Queen players were already playing Zorak in their list, and now we see people just focusing just solely on that Zorak to help take down decks. And I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. The next big event is going to be Mexico Regionals. I think that's next weekend, maybe in two weeks. I can't remember exactly my dates. And then the next one is going to be. Um, Oh man, I can't remember what it's called. It's a convention. It's a special event here in the United States. I can't remember what it's called. It's right for nationals, and that's gonna be the last big one. And then of course, intercontinental and North America. Now, of course, there's always different regions going across the world. And Wednesday, we're gonna cover some of the decks that did well in other in other regionals, just not in Madison. And uh, we're gonna showcase that as well as some of the Madison decks if I do get my hand on those. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun watching the stream this weekend, watching Top of Bulu and watching. And Metagross. I was so hoping Chris will win with Metagross, but Chris is killing it this year. Him and his brother have done fantastic. Unfortunately, none of, uh, with them with them two, uh, they have three second places this year. The Shemansky brothers are killing it. I don't know, man. Um, but unfortunately, they have not won. But still, congrats to both of those guys. Uh, Alex Shemansky did and did make top 32 with, with Metagross, if I remember correctly. Uh, unfortunately, did not make top 8. But still, making top 32 is fantastic. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, Vigavolt, like you see on the screen, was the biggest, the second biggest deck in cut, if I remember correctly. It 
might have been best clean, but I'm pretty sure it was Avika uh, Volta Bulu. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know which deck do you like more this weekend. Did you were you more surprised about the Bulu Avika Volt or the Metagross? In my eyes, Avika Volt was the uh, craziest thing that we saw this weekend. I don't, I didn't think I would ever see this deck. Uh, the Vika Vote I thought it would because we saw Russell Plar playing it, but this we can see in the deck was fantastic. Hopefully, guys, this video wasn't too bad. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.